Hi students, welcome to the session 2 of Fiber to Fabric. So in today's session we will discuss about an animal fiber which we discussed in the previous session and that is wool. So in the previous session we discussed about wool which is obtained from sheep. In today's session we will discuss about it in brief and also we will learn about the wool which is obtained from other animals too, including sheep. So let us start with this session. Yes students, wool which is obtained from other animals than sheep. So students, there are several breeds of sheep which are found in different parts of our country. We discussed about it earlier too. However, the fleece of sheep is not the only source of wool. The wool commonly available in the market is sheep wool, which we all know about. So, this sheep wool is mainly or commonly available in the market, but there are other wools which are obtained from, there, is, uh, there are wools which are obtained from other animals too, like yak. Yak wool is common in Tibet and Ladakh. Angora wool is obtained from Angora goats found in the hilly region such as Jammu and Kashmir. Then wool is also obtained from goat hair. The under fur of Kashmiri goat is very soft and it is woven into fine shawls called as Pashmina shawls, which you might have heard of. And the fur the hair on the body of cam uh, camels is also used as wool. Even llama and alpaca, they are found in South America, which also yield wool. So, students, wool is the fiber which is derived from the fur of animals, principally from sheep. But the hair of certain species of other mammals such as goats, alpacas and rabbits may also be considered or called as wool. So let us start this interesting topic and let us see that other than sheep, which are the other animals from which we can obtain wool, an animal fiber. Yes. So the first one which we are going to discuss here is about alpaca and llama. So students, the alpaca and llama belong to the camel family. And their undercoat hair is very fine. It's very soft and lustrous. And the fibers are very light in weight. So although the main source of wool is sheep, it is obtained from such animals too, like alpaca and llama. That is why they are named as alpaca and llama wool. So we can say that alpaca fiber is that of an alpaca animal. It is warmer than sheep's wool and is lighter in weight. It is soft, fine, glossy and luxurious. Even the thickness of the quality of this type of fiber is between 12 to 29 micrometers. So we can say that most alpaca fiber is white in color, but it also comes in various shades of brown and black. So this you can see, this is the picture of an alpaca and this is the picture of llama. You will also be very amazed to know that camel hair is obtained from the very soft and fine fur of the undercoat of the camel. Like the Bactrian camels, they give us the best quality of wool. And here you, this is a picture of Bactrian camel, which gives us the best quality of wool. So they are the two humped camels. You can see here in this picture, this is one and this is two. The two humped camels and they are found in Siberia, Mongolia, Mongolia, sorry, and China. So basically we can say that camel hair is obtained from the very soft and fine fur of undercoat of camel. 
Even the Bactrian camels give us the best quality of wool. And they are two humped camels. And the Alpaca and Lama, they belong to the camel cam family too. And their undercoat hair is very fine, soft and lustrous and the fibers are light and weight. And they are found in South America. So this was about the camel hair and the other animals which belong to the camel family. Now let us discuss about the other one. Yes, it is called as Vicuna. It is an endangered species and a member of Lama family. As you know, endangered species means it is on the verge of extinction. Not extinct, but verge of extinction. So this is a picture of Vicuna and these are the pictures of the cloths or the materials which are prepared from its wool. So we can say that it is the Vicuna which is a member of Lama family and it gives us the softest coat cloth in the world as you can see here. This is made from Vicuna, Vicuna's wool, Vicuna's hair and it is the softest coat cloth in the whole world. So you can just imagine that it is now an endangered species. So we should save these animals. Yes. The another one is mohair. Mohair is a silk-like fabric or yarn which is made from the hair of the angora goat. Now you can see here, this is a picture of a beautiful angora goat. So the angora goat is originally from the Ankara region in Turkey near the present day capital of Turkey called as Ankara A N K A R A and the fiber obtained from the Ankara goat is called mohair so we can say that angora wool is obtained from angora goats which are found in the hilly regions such as Jammu and Kashmir and you will be very amazed to know that its property are very good, like it is durable and resilient. Means it is notable for its high luster and sheen and is often used in fiber blends to add these qualities to a textile. So mohair takes, even it takes dye exceptionally well and so we can obtain it or we can get it in various different colors because it takes the dye exceptionally well than others. So this is about mohair which is a silk like fabric or yarn made from the hair of the angora goat. Yes, the other one is angora wool. Now that which we discussed was Angora goat from which we obtain mohair, a silk like fabric. Now this is Angora wool or it is also called as Angora fiber, fi sorry fiber which refers to the down coat produced by the Angora rabbit. How amazing it is. Can you see the picture? How beautiful it is. So the Angora rabbit is also well known for its fine wool. It is also originally from the Ankara, the Ankara region of Turkey, same as Mohair. And each rabbit can only provide a small amount of Angora, so the expensive fiber is often combined with other fibers. Because this much expensive fiber cannot be afforded by all of them. And that is why this Angora wool or Angora fiber refers to the down coat of the down coat which is produced by the angora rabbit. There are many types of angora rabbits like English, French, German and giant. So angora is prized for its softness, its thin fibers are of around 12 to 16 micrometers for quality fiber and 
what knitters refer to as a halo because of its fluffiness. So this is the very good quality of fiber because it is obtained from the Acora rabbit which has uh, its fluffiness which is called halo. I'll write it down for you. It is called as hello. That means fluffiness. Right? So the fiber, this type of fiber, Angora wool fiber or Angora wool, fells very easily. Like Angora fiber comes in white, black and various shades of brown and blue color too. As you can see here in this picture. Right? So these are the types of Angora these are the yarns of different colors made out from angora rabbits. So this is the angora fiber or angora wool. Yes, the next one which we are going to discuss is yak wool. Yak wool is common in Tibet and Ladakh. So this is a picture of a yak and you can see how amazing this animal is. Right? And wool made from the yak is known as yak wool. You can see here so many such fibers or wool is obtained from yak and it is prepared in various ways. It is commonly found in Tibet and Ladakh. Yes, the next one is Kashmir. So Kashmir wool is the wool which is obtained from Kashmir goat. You can see the picture. This is the picture of Kashmir goat. Right? So Kashmir wool is a wool obtained from the Kashmir goat and it is characterized by its luxuriously soft fibers. In order to get this fiber, in order for a natural goat fiber to be considered as Kashmir, it must be under 18.5 micrometers in diameter and it should be at least 3.1 centimeters long. It is noted as providing a natural light weight insulation that to without bulk. You can see the animal and you can just imagine that it is not a bulk one. But then too, it is providing a natural light weight insulation without bulk and it has luxuriously soft fibers. So we say that it is characterized by its luxuriously soft fibers. You can see in the picture such type of cloths, such type of, such type of materials or the shawls are made from cashmere. So these fibers are highly adaptable and they are easily constructed into fine or thick yarns and are light to heavy weight fabrics. So they can be obtained in light weight as well as in heavy weight too because they are both light to weight, uh, light to heavy weight fabrics. So the cashmere goat gives us the cashmere fiber which is luxuriously soft providing us the great warmth. The coats are found in the high plateaus of Asia. So that was about Kashmir and now we are going to discuss about the other one which is called as Bison Down. So Bison Down is the soft undercoat of the American Bison. This is the picture of Bison and Bison Down is the soft undercoat of the American Bison and you will be very amazed to know that it is the coat of the bison which contains two different types of fiber. Here you can see the gloves, these type of gloves are prepared from bison down. The coat of the bison contains two different types of fiber as I said before. The main coat is made up of the coarse fibers which is about 59 micrometers called as guard hairs. So I'll write it down here for you that the main coat as we discussed that coat of the bison contains two different types of fiber. So the main coat 
is made up of coarse fibers and it is also called as guard fibers or guard hairs and the downy undercoat so this is the first one so the downy undercoat is about 18.5 micrometers and this undercoat is shed annually and consists of fine soft fibers so the other one is the down coat or the undercoat or we can say as the downy undercoat which are considered to be the second type of fiber known as soft fibers so these soft fibers are very warm and they protect the animal from harsh winter conditions right so we saw that there are two main types of fibers first one is the coat fibers or sorry coarse fibers and second one is the soft fibers coarse fibers are used for making a main coat and soft fibers for downy undercoat so these are the fibers which are very warm and they protect the animal called as bison down from harsh winter conditions because it lives in such areas where there is very much cold it lives in the cold weather so that was about bison down and now we are going to discuss about other other one commonly available in the market and it is sheep's wool yes sheep's wool has two qualities that distinguish it from hair or fur means it has scales which overlap like shingles on a roof and secondly it is crimped now what does these terms mean yes what do these terms mean sorry yes wool has two qualities that distinguish it from hair or fur it has scales which overlap like uh, overlap like shingles means shingles mean a thing of long piece of material that is laid in overlapping the rows to cover the roof so it will shingle on a roof that means there will be a thin piece of material and that is overlapped into rows and secondly it is crimped means it is compressed means it will be it will bend or we can say rather compressed or it is bent or molded into some shape so it can be molded into a shape and it can be overlapped also these are the two qualities of the sheep's wool that distinguish it from hair or fur so this is a picture of sheep you might have seen yes so basically we can say that in some places the wool fibers have more than 20 pence per inch and wool varies in diameter from below 17 micrometers to over 35 micrometers even the inner the wool sorry the finer the wool the softer it will be and coarser sorry coarser crates are more durable and less prone to pilling that means the finer the wool will be the softer it will be obtained so this is the main difference between the sheep's wool and other wools even you will be very amazed to know that wool is obtained from goat hair and the under fur of Kashmiri goat is very soft and that is why it is woven into fine shawls popularly called as pashmina shawls right your parents might be knowing about it these are the pictures of pashmina shawls the shawls which are made from the under fur of Kashmiri coat and it is very very soft right so that was about 
sheep's wool and the goat wool and now caveat is the find under wool of the musk ox this is a picture of the musk ox so caveat is the find under wool of the musk ox caveat fibers are actually long which are about 5 to 8 centimeters they are very fine fibers that is between 15 and 20 micrometers in diameters and they are relatively smooth so what is the property of caveat fibers yes caveat fibers are long fine and relatively smooth as you can see in the picture such type of materials or cloths are made from the caveat fibers means from the under wool which is obtained from the under wool of the musk ox and it's very amazing and it's very really interesting to know that it is approximately eight times warmer than sheep's wool and it does not felt or shrink so it doesn't shrink like others right so this like other clothes so it, it is approximately eight times warmer than sheep's wool how amazing it is so Today's session was all about the wool which is obtained from sheep as well as from other animals too which are living in India and in other countries too. So we will discuss about the production of wool, how wool is obtained that will be discussed in the next session. Till then keep learning, keep enjoying. Bye-bye.